Hi again. This is a bit awkward. I forgot my keys. You know, we had that heartfelt goodbye, and I just come crawling back. I figured no one else seems to have done this thing with like going through every mask in a video or stream or even like in a text list or anything. As far as I could see, we've seen, I saw like another person doing what I did, where it's like read every single 15 of the 15 masks until the final confirmation, but not past that. So I guess I want to do that. I'm going to regret it though, because uh, unfortunately I've tried as much as I can think of like to save in different manners and like saving files and backups and all of that. Couldn't find any ways to like cheat or do anything like that. Open console, no idea. But unfortunately, after you go in here and select the whole I want to stop my journey, all saves get disabled for that save. So once you say, yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm really ready nothing more gets saved afterwards. So we have to redo every single thing that we do here like 15 times, which is why it's really tedious. So we have to do those confirmations, watch this animation. There is no skipping cutscenes as far as I could see. And this takes a good long while. And then we have to talk to Jadi, spam through all the dialogue, say that we're ready to choose a mask. She tells us to go to the, the temple. We then get the cutscene with Simoon, which also takes quite a while. Then we gotta summon Simoon again, drive over there, go through the temple. That takes a while. Jump down, watch the full cutscene of looking at all the masks. That takes quite a while. And then finally, we get to actually look at one mask and read read the description. So it's like probably a good five minutes every single time, if not more, before we get to choose even a single thing. So. Boy, is this gonna be boring. So let's just spam through here. I think I'm actually gonna do this with mouse and keyboard because then I don't have a cursor. What the hell? I, I think I'll have a cursor later. Where is it? God, that's very hard to to play with. Hold on, if I do this now? Yeah, now I have a cursor. So for this first one, I'm gonna show it, but in the highlight, I think I'm just going to... I, I'm going the wrong way, but that's fine. As, so, as soon as we like leave here, we'll just be at the front anyway. That's what it does. I think. I guess I never try doing this. Is this the way to do it? If you go anywhere outside the front there, we get the Samoon cutscene. I'm going to assume it happens like as soon as I get close to the temple here. And then I'll be back in front of it. But yeah, after, yeah, exactly. That's the problem. Maybe if I really like go all the way around, I can avoid that trigger. But the question is, would it save more time than it wastes? Probably not. But yeah, for the highlight, I'm just gonna like cut out the stuff in between each mask. So the highlight is probably gonna be very, very short. But live, this is not going to be short. And it's going to be very boring. So, uh... Viewer... What is it called? Discretion is advised. Yeah, really strange that you can even summon the bike again after saying goodbye to it like that. Oh god, got the, the bug there. How do I, like, let go? There we go. I, I don't know how to play the game on mouse and keyboard. So yeah, it's this whole thing. That took quite a while. And then we have another cutscene here, which also takes a while. You missed the start. How many masks in are you? Zero. 
This is the first one. That's how long it takes to even get to a mask. So yeah. Yeah, this is probably easily going to take over an hour, which is not great. So yeah, I guess uh, just to make it a little more fun and even more time consuming, why don't we like put on the getup of every single one? So like, oh god, I'm going to have to do this on controller because it's very like, is it bouldering, I guess? I guess bouldering is the, the climbing set. Oh god, and now the cursor is doing weird shit as well. Yeah, just pick a matching set so that we can see the ending for Climber and stuff, and we'll just go through each one of them. Uh, I guess I, I've already read this stuff, so like, if this is someone watching that hasn't seen the previous previous segment of this, then like, read this to yourself, but I'll read out the like new stuff. Can you change the suspect in Ecria? Yeah, I mean, you probably can, but I'm not doing that. So yeah, that's it. I can't wait for us to see the world together. I, I thought I uh, had another confirmation to do. Oops, skipped like one of the lines, but at least we can see them. And the question is like, yeah, I can't, I can't quit at this point. So there's nothing more that happens after this, right? Because then I might just want to like alt the four, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just this and then we just see ourselves like jump jump out there. So I guess picking the like clothing is kind of pointless too if we're not going to watch the full cutscenes every time, which any time saving I can do, I'll take. This is a special occasion. skip the credits at least is that allowed of course it's not allowed what was i thinking all right it's probably going to be faster to alt f4 so i will do that from now on yeah maybe it's pointless to uh change my clothing then if we're just gonna like read the thing and then alt f4 without seeing the cutscenes i just thought it would be like fun to see the full sets together They really had to make it take as long as possible to discourage people from doing this, because you're supposed to just choose one mask and not try and do it multiple times. I'm gonna try this one time, even though it obviously wastes way more time than it saves. If I, like, get out all the way here, drive all the way around and see if we can, like, climb up the side of the temple or something. There's no way this is more time efficient, but just for the sake of it. Oh yeah, there was actually that one other thing that I wanted to see. We'll see how long this takes, but I did want to see if it is possible to use this climbing trick to get up on that like super tall double spire mountain in Red Sea. Yeah, we can try and, like, ride Simoon into the cutscene as well. I imagine nothing much happens, we just, like, get off. But yeah, that can be something to try. Yeah, where is the trigger here? Oh, since we can drop- Ah, oh, wow, they really thought of that! Holy crap! Okay! They really didn't want you skipping this cutscene. No cutscenes skip. No cutscene skips allowed. Yeah, they're like trying to do all they can to make this as cumbersome as possible 
so that people don't do exactly what I'm doing. And again, I, I do understand the, like, idea behind that, that it is a choice that you make above all else. You don't get to know all of the options possible or whatever. But what if I want to? <laughs> then I have to do this, I guess. Yeah, that's a, that's a little extreme. Making sure that even that is uncovered. Like, if this door was covered, I feel like that would make sense. But even, like, in here? That you can't drop in? There's no other place inside here, right? No other hole in the ceiling? Oh, there is! Okay, we have to try that as well. That could actually potentially be a time save. Probably not, though. Again, I think just getting the cutscene is, like, shorter than doing all of that. Alright, let's try this one more time. If I go too far out in case I hit the trigger. Yeah, pretty sure you can't climb this without the trick. Maybe it's just barely enough? So it's like right here, is it? Can't imagine they wouldn't put the trigger here as well then. Secret entrance! Oh! We found the exploit! Which really probably doesn't save any time at all. It probably wastes time, but I guess it's more fun. Wait, I guess next time I'll try the, like, driving Samoon into the cutscene just to see what that does. Yeah, someone would need to, like, time exactly how long the cutscene takes and then driving into the, the temple compared to doing that. I think the climbing alone probably wastes time. Yeah, we, we don't have to say goodbye to Simoon if we do, do it this way. We'll be together forever. I guess I'm going to leave the chum mask for last, and we'll see if I'm, like, dead by that point. Then I'll skip it, since we already did it, but otherwise... We'll go through all of them. So, Angler. Oh! Oh, God! Okay, we don't want to skip this cutscene, I guess. Never mind. Never mind, they thought of everything. Uh, what's gonna happen now, afterwards? Oh, God! Both cutscenes are happening at the same time! Uh-oh. Well, now we get the credits with Simoon, I guess. Oh. Now I'm just back here, but now I, like, didn't get the, uh, the angler line. I, I'm, I just stand here. I don't know what to do with my life anymore. We're just gonna play out the whole credits song, just standing still, freeze frame. 
Okay. Oh god, wait, I can- I can't move around, but I can open the- the menu. Okay, we gotta try this. I have backups. Let's try saving here. I'm just gonna, like, do it a couple times. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it works. And then we exit the title and see, like, what happens with the save there. Nothing. All right, well, guess I'll... I don't know. Should I cut all of that out? Maybe I'll keep it in the juicy bit. Man, well, we need to redo Angler again, then. All right, so let's try... What? What's happening here? Invisible wall? That's odd. Whoa! What is happening? I'm stuck! Simoon, help! What was that about? Wait. Huh? No cutscene? But isn't this just gonna do the same thing then? Wait. Oh god, wait, I didn't talk to Jadi, did I? I'm forgetting. Whoops. That's why it's weird, I think. Right? Yeah, like, it's, it's not even that long of a... Simoon? God damn it, Simoon. It's not even that long of a cutscene. Definitely not longer than climbing up all the way there and dropping in the ceiling, even if that had worked. Yeah, I think Simoon got a little pissed off at all the weirdness I was doing. What is that mask that this god has? I want that one. Alright, Angler Mask, take two. What? Oh! We just don't get a line for Angler? It's just, okay, you're an Angler. Enjoy! That's weird. Okay, fair enough. So I guess the Simoon glitch wouldn't? Like, it, it would work. I would probably get the, uh... Get to read if I actually did it, but again, it doesn't save any time, so no point. Which one was next now? I wasn't paying attention. The uh, entertainer or something? I have a feeling the worm and, uh, what's it called? This one. What was that that just happened? The atomic one probably won't have any lines. Yeah, entertainer. Sometimes you have to make choices for you. What? Make choices for you. I hope they understand. I see, yeah, in that sense. Wait, one last test? Since you can use Simoon to drive out of the barrier, is it worth it to go straight to the temple to select your mask? What do you mean? Because, yeah, you can't select the mask. I actually did try that, like, off-camera, where I tried to go to the temple before going into the... the camp again, but nothing happens. Like, the cutscene doesn't trigger until after you've done the, like, I'm ready to choose with Jody.
unless it's possible to like go into the go into camp, get the welcome home cutscene, then before talking to Jody, driving to the temple. Yeah. Probably nothing. But maybe. I'm not sure it's worth the time, but maybe. Right, Scrapper, the original one that I wanted to do, but didn't... Or a ma machinist, I mean. But didn't end up doing. I don the mask of the machinist. It smells of steel and petrichor. And I adore it. Well, that was a pretty lengthy one, or whatever. Where's Samoon? I heard her. Yeah, nothing. Thought so. Oh, crap. Oh, I can't, like, I can't teleport anymore. Crap. So we have to walk up. God. Oh dear. What the hell? What? Oh god! Oh no! Wait. Simoon, come over here. Help! Simoon, no! Uh. This is an issue. It just hit another invisible wall there. Oh no. Help! Okay, yeah, that, that works. That's weird that for some reason you can just go through the invisible walls while on the moon but not off it in either direction. Alright. Atomic Mask. Is this one going to be interesting? Am I sure? I pick up the Atomic Mask. I guess I'll have to carve my own path. I'll figure out the details later. Alright, that's something. It's like, I don't know what this is going to do for me, but I just want to do something weird that no one has, has done before. Yeah, that's probably one of my top choices. Yeah, it could have something to do with that, like, the Atomic Mask is choosing to try and, like, figure out more about the, the whale in the previous civilization and getting out into space and the other planets and stuff. Basically, we turn into an astronaut. <laughs> but I guess, like, that's probably not happening in one lifetime. Advances like that, but still, like, working towards it. Yeah, I wonder what the, the worm is gonna be. I just feel like being in a weird, like, worm death cult. Sounds fun. Alright. Shade mask. I pick up the mask of the shade. I don't know how I'll explain it to Jody, but I suspect she'll understand. Pretty simple, but sure. I just want to be Robin Hood. Or Batman. Are there, like, speedruns of this game? I wonder how long they are. Would be kind of interesting to see. I'm sure there's, like, a bunch of weird broken stuff you can do. Though also a lot of stuff that is just tedious and, like, is unskippable and takes a bunch of time. I also don't know exactly what the speedrun would even be, what the, like, requirement for any percent would be. I could be the first, probably not. I think this game is popular enough that there's actual runners, most likely. 
All right, Beetle Mask is next. Oh yeah, Worm Mask is kind of far away. Beetle Mask. Oh, nothing on the Beetle Mask. Screw you for liking beetles. Yeah, there's, wow, there's 14 whole runners in any percent. Only two all mask runs. Four glitchless. It's only 14 minutes, huh? Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll want to watch one of those. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the, like, requirements are for finishing the game. I know we got, like, mail at some point where it's like, hey, we, we're back now. You can come home now. And I, I'm assuming it's, like, after you get, like, three masks or something? I don't know exactly. Alright, guard mask. I don the mask of the guard. It's a shame I won't work with Elizabeth, but I can't wait to see her again. Great. All right, cartographer. Nothing. Great. That's kind of weird. I was expecting cartographer to at least have some line. It's very strange, it almost feels like unfinished, why they just have like a couple of them that just don't have any lines, even though you could very easily have lines for them. Alright, it's the big moments. Worm mask. Surely they must have a line for it. We have to explain this somehow. Worm mask. Am I sure? I pick up the worm mask. Dot, dot, dot. I'm not quite sure what I'm thinking, but I'm sure I can find some reason to wear such a hor horrific thing. Great. Well, I had a line. Better than some of them. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to be a, like, demonic cult leader. And probably die in some gruesome ritual to try and revive the worm. Second to last? Oh yeah. Ibexi mask. Or Ibex. I donned the mask of the Ibexy. It fits perfectly. Great. And the final mask, Merchant. Nothing! Great, what a good ending. Fantastic. Alright. I'm gonna jump back in, I guess, and... Let's just... See if we can climb that giant mountain. Just see if it's even, like, reasonable in any way. It probably isn't. Just a quick attempt. And then, I don't know. We could even try that, like, whodunit thing again. Since I think I have backups from there. That would be, like... Decently close to it, as far as I remember. I don't know, I'm not sure how much I did, like... Didn't I point fingers and do the whole, like, reactor thing, breaking in there, in one single stream, which would be kind of problematic then? Wait, what am I doing? No! 
No, no, no. I'm done. This is muscle memory now. So, where is this mountain? It's like somewhere up in the north here, I believe. That one, yeah. It's like a very iconic mountain, I feel. You think you can just talk to the guy in jail to change it? I don't think you can. Here? Now, I'm pretty sure you can't. This is just all the... All the evidence and stuff. Yeah, this is just like the motive. Yeah. You would have to reload a, a backup from before I did it. Hmm. This looks pretty insurmountable. Where is, like... The lowest point in the center, maybe. That doesn't really look climbable. I don't think there's any better spot than just right here. Unless we can, like, jump from somewhere and glide onto it from town. I think they're all, like, too far away to make any difference. It would maybe be that peak right there. Sit tight, Samoon. I'm not sure that will even do anything. Also, keyboard and mouse for this, because the climbing is much easier with that. What are you doing? Climb it! I'm also not sure how to be, like, the most efficient at this. Because if you tap it, like, too quickly, then you don't really get anywhere, so you want to hold it, like, a little bit. But then not too long, because if you hold it too long, then you're just wasting stamina as well. So it's, like, very hard to know if you're doing it optimally or not. So that took me, like, about half of my stamina. And that's not even half of this distance. And I'm not gonna land much more than, like, here or something. So this is probably not happening. But let's give it one shot. If only we could somehow regenerate stamina while on a wall, like, by jumping off it and gliding or something like that. Whoa, the music's just gone. I've left Ecria, I guess.
don't want to look up. I don't want to know how close we are. I don't think we're that close. We're not that close. No. It doesn't seem like there's any way to do that. We were like barely even higher than that peak. I can't even like look up at this point. Camera's locked. Can I do it on controller? No, the controller doesn't let me look up e either. Yeah, there was a good amount of like mountain left there. Too bad. You would need some sort of, oh, of course, some sort of like infinite stamina glitch or cheat to do that. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any other better way to do it. Oh, well. I guess that's everything for Sable, then. I don't think I'm gonna bother doing the, like, reload checkpoint thing, because, like, let, let me just look at my backups. I'm pretty sure my backups are not great for them. For this quest. Oh, that's Cradle, not Sable. Oops. They sound similar. I'm checking my Cradle backups. Yeah. I don't know which one it would even be. I have, like, all masks done. Oh, I, I missed one, episode 12, I didn't make a backup for. Is that specifically the one, maybe? <laughs> episode 13 is all masks done. 14 was 130 chums. 15 was all final 13 chums. And then 16 was, like, everything, the rest of it. Or, I mean, 15 was, like, in before the final 13. Yeah, let's just leave it off here for Sable. At least we did all the, like, mask lines, even though, like, four or five of them didn't have any lines at all, weirdly enough. But some of them did, like the worm and the atomic mask and stuff like that. So, yeah. I don't know how long this is going to end up being when I cut out all the boring stuff. We'll see, I suppose. For now, thanks for watching Sable again. I'll take a break, and then we'll switch over to some Samaros 3.